So, we have reached the end of a vaguely successful <laughs> Lemons first rally. We're all still here. Some of us are still talking to each other. And the cars kind of still work. I do, I do kind of want to point out as well that we're not actually at the end of the rally, are we? No, this is, this is the end of, this is our ending point where we're now going to split off and go different places, which is Caffeine in the Machine, which is an automotive themed cafe rest stop area, which is, if you're in the area, which is Stafford, Stratford upon Avon. Yeah, that's it. It's well worth visiting because it's, well, it's an awesome place, very suited to Kari people, like, like us. So, some of you will now be wondering the biggest question that we haven't actually answered, which is, what is the condition of the vehicles that we're in? And we set up a system of negative points for defects. So, starting from this side, we're going to go through the problems with our vehicles. Dan. Um, so the main problem is probably my brakes uh, or their lack of. Yep. <laughs> um, it, I have to brake twice as much as everyone else uh, just to stop the van. Um, people were driving behind me saying that I had my foot on the brake. That's probably right because it does nothing. Um, <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> and it's only progressively got worse the whole trip. Your, your paintwork is somewhat lacking as well. That's not that was lacking when I bought it. Yeah, that's a lack of appeal. Then, uh, how well does it hold liquid? Um, well, so I've, I've owned it since April. Yep. So, you know, a good six months now. And it's had two cans of stop, stop leak in it, and it's still leaking oil. Um, but it's only a little drip now before it was a, a lake, a, a puddle. But it is leaking oil. It is leaking oil, yeah. Anything but, else that doesn't work? So the fans, they only blow on the windscreen. Um, I don't get to pick my feet or my face or both. Um, it just doesn't <laughs> change, uh, which is quite a good thing to be fair, because I'd rather it be stuck on the windscreen and be able to defog myself. That's true. It's stuck anywhere else. It's stuck anywhere else. <laughs> and the heater works, you've got hot and cold oh, air? It, it oh, is yeah. hot, it will heat that windscreen up, but it'll barely get to me. So um, my speedos are nearly 10 miles an hour out. <laughs> It's pretty accurate at about 30, but as soon as you start going above 30, it just dramatically gets worse and worse. So when we were sitting on the motorway, my speedo was reading 80, whilst everyone else's were like, right, we're happy sitting at 70. So I'm like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, nice. So we've got an oil leak. That's great. Speedo, your vents, and your clear coat peel. I don't think any of those are major, though. No, there's no major. But... Great. Right, my one. Mine's fine. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Yeah. So can I, you still do 70, Laurie? No. So the, the wheel wobble I mentioned earlier in the previous videos has developed to be quite bad, that anything above 60-ish is unpleasant. And cruising at 70 to uh, get here, the whole car wobbles. So that's, that's, that's bad. Additionally, the paint's not perfect. No, someone's hit with a sandblaster. Yeah, I, I don't know why one door's like that. And my rear wiper jet doesn't work. Apart from that, everything else in the car works as it should. Oh, and the brakes squeal. They, they work really well, this car stops, but they are the noisiest brakes out anything that we've got. Everybody knows I'm behind them. But one pretty major, we need to sort that when we get home, Colt. And three minor ones. Oh, look at that bike. And there goes the Hayabusa. He's very loud. This is one of the problems with shooting at a place like this. You're going to get some engine noise. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty awesome, though. They are pretty I want to see that booster take off. Come on, do it. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Give it everything. Everything. I can't give the Hayabusa everything. He'll die. And they're gone. Apart from that, the big thing, though, I want bonus points for is my T-top do not leak. And nope. that, is, that is worth bonus points. Bonus points. This is only negatives at the minute. <laughs> but that's that's four minors and one major. Though. Yeah, I think I think that's all that's wrong. All my all my heater works. The radio. Oh, two front speakers are they work, but they are nah. <laughs> that's fine. That's every Nissan. Right. <laughs> this. What? It, it's not without its faults. Yeah, your arches are. That one. The rest of it looks fine, but that one there is sketchy. Yeah, the the, the rust is bad, and the MOT tape keeps coming off. Yeah. Um, that that 
could be fixed though. You could make that nice if you knew what you were doing. And the rest, the rest of them look fine, but that one is... I might actually give it a go, to be fair. Uh, apart from that, the, the brakes squeal a little bit, but only a tiny amount. They're nothing compared to mine. Yeah, is it, is it really a major? You can't really even really no. hear them outside the car, can you? No, 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 mine you can, yours not. Um, however, the clutch, the clutch is very stinky. Yeah, your clutch, your clutch is definitely slipping. And you've got one rear wheel that needs adjustment. Yes. Your camber is definitely way off. Yes, so, so that's... But then again, that's probably your fault for put, when you put it back together. Yes, Bear in mind I put that on. So yeah, you did that like 24 hours before we left. Yes. So we'll accept that. So that's clutch, which is a bit big. The rot. Rot. Uh, this... Rear wheel. This passenger's window doesn't go down. Oh, you got a window that doesn't go up and down. Heater works. AC, it, it, AC works. Heater works and AC works. Nothing else that doesn't work? Not that I can... Oh, uh, there's a rear light out. Oh, yes, you do. You've got a rear light out. That's not bad. That's not, that's not bad. Is that it? Five minors? You've got scabby wheels. Your, yeah, your... your yeah, your, I'll we, actually add another one your on wheels the wheels. Are, they're terrible. Your wheels are Very absolutely <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> they're, 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 they're gone. Morgan, what's wrong with yours? I've only got two problems with mine. No, you've got more two. than that. What are your two problems that you want to admit? The heater. The heater definitely doesn't work. And sometimes the radio case comes off. The radio comes off. Morgan, it's it's thing right, let's also go Morgan. with the other problem. Morgan, step away from your car a second. It's, it's, oh, wait. Wait. it's You've not even bothered to cable tie it on. It's not a problem. <laughs> yes, it is a problem. <laughs> it's a problem. The it's front of your car is falling it's, off. It's not come off at all. This it's trip. just like the head unit. The face comes off. No, it so, doesn't. That's it's true. not come off once. Then how many times has your car scraped this journey on its rear? Not that many. <laughs> <laughs> no, it scrubbed every time there was someone else in the car. Very occasionally, when I go over a big bump, we'll jump the car, it, it bottoms out on the rear ends. That's four. Very occasionally, not very often at all. Anything else? Oh, and he's got a rear light out. That's five. Negative five. Yep. I'm still and not seeing this rear light out. Like yeah, you can't see the back of your car, <laughs> can you, you Morgan? You've got a number plate light out and you're an intermittent rear. That's five plus the over budget. Yes. How right. much did yours cost, Morgan? Um, <laughs> the, the, the car cost £450. Yep. And then how much have you spent in getting it here? £480. <laughs> <laughs> so you doubled the cost of the car to get it here. I more than doubled the, uh, the, the price of the car just so I could make the journey, yes. To get your car here, you could have bought an NX. No, you couldn't. There's none left. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. I'm very glad I didn't buy any. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's also got a dent in the bodywork. That's another negative, isn't it? Oh, yeah, the front is yeah, ding. You got dings. Um, so that's mine. There's a lot of dings and dents, in yeah. it, but it wears its, it wears its no fog lights. proudly. Missing the fog lights. That's not so Yeah, but they've, they've been deleted. That's, that, that's, that's not been deleted. I'm... They're just missing. No, that's to call the brakes. <laughs> oh, brake ducts. Got gotcha. <laughs> Brake ducts. <laughs> that's, that's what it is. All right, right, fine, fine. We'll give you that. They're functional. Yeah, I think that's it for negatives on yours. Six, including the dings. Yeah, I think so. And Trev. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad, the Megane, honestly, what's, is what's it? What's wrong with the Megane? The suspension in it is, well, I feel like I'm driving a slammed car. It squeaks. <laughs> You're not every... driving the slammed car. No. <laughs> not, not in the slide. No. Stop, <laughs> and every single pothole I go over, everything goes... <laughs> <laughs> um, the, I also have a uh, bearing noise which I can't work out but it's definitely coming from the left side of the vehicle <coughs> which comes and goes as it pleases after about an hour of driving <laughs> nice as the more warm the car gets the worse the gearbox and engine mounts get so <laughs> I get even more Do they gear melt? shift move <laughs> nice nice um, you have a, a random engine warning light that has yeah. come on and then goes off for no reason. Yeah, sometimes I get different lights. Sometimes when I put my foot on the brake pedal, the rear fog light light comes on and then goes off. And it comes on <laughs> and different brightnesses depending on how hard I push the brake pedal. <laughs> <laughs> and while we're on the subject of French wiring. <laughs> hazards. My hazards like to come on. If I turn them on, I can't then turn them off <laughs> without removing the whole hazard assembly, turning the car off, turning it back on, and very, very gently teasing the hazard light back to the off position. <laughs> and then there is some scrapage to the paint inside. Yes. 
I make that stuff. <laughs> I wouldn't consider the scrapage in the paint to be one. It's not that bad. Have you been in it? On the inside? Yeah. Right round the, where the, all the seatbelts are, there's clearly where they've stored stuff. They've, they've like, a decorator had your car? I think so. There's definitely where there's been a ladder stored with the roof down. <laughs> <laughs> it is a beautiful mental image. So, uh, but yours didn't cost anything extra, right? No, 380 pounds. So we have all managed to buy a car within budget, second time round for me, apart from Morgan. So the grand total that's going to affect the scores will be shown probably somewhere above us in post, if Matt can do it. I've got to do maths. I don't like maths. Yeah, well, you're going to have to learn a lot of maths. And that will then tell you which one of us has won. Because at this point in time, Morgan is convinced he's won. Well, I, I, well I've won because I, my car was the best. So. Minus 10 points per pound spent. Over. Yeah, but it's still the best. So. It was best on the Welsh road, so that's all I care about. So. It was phenomenal. Day four, I, I won. To be fair, in all, probably the best car here was yours. Yeah. But if this was a thousand pound car challenge, it would have won. Oh, yeah. It would have won, but we probably won't let it win because of that. Oh, you had your issue with your hazards as well. Um, your oh, alarm. My, my, my alarm was going off. I worked out it was just the key fob on the fritz, so uh, I fixed one that. One pound for 100 points, you say? Yeah. No, 10 points for every pound over. That's ridiculous. It's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> so the only question that remains is, would anybody rather have done the whole trip in a different vehicle to their own? Yes. Morgan, you clearly wouldn't have. No, this, this is the best car. The, the only other car which could have been better would have been a rally car on those roads, so... Uh, therefore, I've Trev? Yeah, something with more power, probably. Would you have taken any of these? Probably this. So Matt's, that's a vote for Matt. Not this exact one, but probably. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I was going to say. That's this it. one. A, a T-Sport fixed and in condition <laughs> for £500. Yeah. It's not bad, is it? No, it's right. No. I wouldn't have taken it in that I love driving every moment of that. I'm probably not going to enjoy the way home on the motorways that it goes... Bruh, 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 but... I've enjoyed every moment around Wales. Would you take anything else? Would you have taken the 106? I'd be torn between the 106 and this. That's, that's half a point. I was... I, I, I half was, a point? I, I, he says he's torn. He didn't say he'd rather. He's like, mmm. I get minus 10 points for every pound overspent. <laughs> I'm getting half a point because someone might prefer no, mine. Ha half a unit of points. So instead of 200, you might get 100. Yeah, yeah, you, get, you don't get... I'm a... just going to work all these numbers up like magic in post and I'm just going to win. <laughs> So I'm just going to be at minus 9,000. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm glad you know how the system works. Ridiculous. Topman, would you have chosen a different vehicle and one, which one of these would you have taken? I wouldn't have picked any of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's what, that including my van. Including your own. <laughs> so my van has paid for itself time over and time over, but not on this trip. Um, I really struggled up some of them hills, like really struggled. <laughs> First gear, foot to floor. <laughs> was worrying for a little bit if I was even going to make it. A couple of them, we went off and like, where's Dan? Like, I can't get up the hill! <laughs> but if I were to pick again, I would go for an MX-5. Yeah. It's not bad, so, so That would have been good on those So guys. the only one to get a guaranteed full points is yours. Somehow. That I, think, I think Morgan's probably had the most fun out of all of us on the back road around 100%. Wales. 100%. Yeah, that thing, absolutely. We all, we've all been out in it now, or I think most of us have been out of it, and the way that thing holds the road is just... My front tyres don't hold the road. That's kind of the problem with this car. My car just goes like this. Every time I find a corner, it goes, Hi! <laughs> yeah, yours looks like it's falling over in the corner. <laughs> it feels funny. like it's falling over. It's terrifying. And mine just shreds its cheapy tyres. <laughs> so, uh... And you went over a bump that hit that hit there, and that would just get ripped. Oh, of course. The, there is one other big major thing that we've all forgotten about what? as a negative point. One breakdown. Only car to break down was oh, Morgan's. Yeah. Yes. Your impromptu <laughs> rally stage cost you your fuel rail. <laughs> it looks so unhappy. It was nearly an engine fire. To be fair, very close. I, I am quite lucky. He didn't catch fire. Yes. Is it, it, is it 500 for a breakdown? I, blame, I think I so, know, yeah. I blame the road. <laughs> I yes. blame the driver on the road. Yes. <laughs> I, I, it, that's my fault, not the car's fault. I blame French build quality. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless, Poor yours car. is the only car on the rally, and this being the end point of the rally, <laughs> that's broken down. So I can now call the AA to recover mine and drag it home, <laughs> and I don't get any negative points. That's the only reason you wanted to end it here, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't want to drive any further. <laughs> so that's it for Lemons. The event is over. So the burning question I'm sure you're all asking is, what happened next? 
What happened to the cars? Well, Tottenham and Trav really didn't like theirs because they went straight away. In fact, I think the van was already sold before the van got home. Yep. So that was gone. And clearly, we still got ours. Well, you do for now. I am keeping this. This is going nowhere. By the time you see this video, this one will be for sale. As will the 106, actually. They yes. are both going up. Morgan has, uh, I think, has he, I think he has somebody as He's of... had a viewer as of... The, yeah, the Saturday after this is being filmed, he's got another viewer. Yep. So by the time you see this, the 106 may already be gone. And this will be gone provided I can fix it. Because currently the drive shaft is playing up. So I've got a new one to go in and hopefully you should see that on what's broken now. Yes, so the what's broken now is coming out this before, this, before, this, before video. this video. It you might be fixed already, we don't know. Yeah, the car. <laughs> but once this is fixed, Matt's not going to sell it as a broken car. Matt's going to sell it as a car. And to be fair, it's a good car, isn't it? It is a generally good car. I've had, both myself and Morgan have had a fair amount of investment into these cars after Lemons. <laughs> that they've had a couple of things go wrong for both of them. So they have been looked after and they're both getting sold in hopefully very good condition. Well, I say very good condition. These are clean. Yeah, quite, very quite badly. Mine is looking gorgeous. Yep. Um, but yeah, it's a lovely car. If you want to uh, buy it, then I'm sure we'll post a link to where it's for sale at some point. Yep. If you want to buy a bit of LMM's history. Um, and it's a good car. In the meantime, we really, really hope you've enjoyed this series and seen what we've been up to. And tune in next week for an announcement for Lemons in the future. I'm scared. Oh, you should be. Everyone should be scared. I'm scared and excited. Yeah, because there'll be an announcement of uh, something that we've bought. So thank you for watching Lemons, guys. We really hope you've enjoyed it. Please, if you haven't already, have a look at the charity that we were supporting this event, Special Effect, who make gaming devices for children with disabilities so they can enjoy something that we all take for granted, which is to be able to game. So if you haven't already, their website is in the video description. Have a look, and we have a Just Giving page, and we would absolutely love it if you guys would just chuck a couple of quid towards it, because it really does change the lives of children who, well, can't game. And it's a really important thing, so thanks a lot, guys. In the meantime, we really hope you've enjoyed it, so please like, subscribe, share this video with your friend, help Lemons grow, as it's now a pretty much complete saga adventure of idiots doing stupid stuff. And, um, what have I missed? Uh, there's normally something else. Subscribe, comment, oh, leave a comment. Let us know which is your favourite episode, which car you've liked best, and if you're interested in buying Matt Salika or Morgan's 106. With that, if you're interested, guys, and you want to see how we started the Lemons adventure, click somewhere, I, I can't remember where, but somewhere it will come up. And if you want to see the other stuff we normally get up to, well then, click somewhere else. See you later, guys. Bye.